Hey everyone, this is Stampin' Songbird. Today I wanted to go over how to refill your ATG gun. So here is an actual ATG gun. They um, come in pink and I believe in yellow, but the yellow one is for a different size um, um, roll of tape. I can't remember what the, I think this is the quarter inch. Um, this is usually the standard uh, size one that you get at the craft store. Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, um, those stores. So mine has this leopard print um, scrapbook paper that I just glued on. I just traced and then I just glued it on in a couple of stickers. So to open it, you just, um, you see a couple of grooves here in the shape of triangles. So that just shows you where you're going to push down and then pop it up. And then this is what you see. So on this side is where you're uh, going to see um, some pictures that are uh, carved in or engraved in that show you how to load your your tape so on this piece it shows you where you're going to press down and turn to open this side so that you can load your tape so here it says open I'm gonna push down and then just turn it slightly and it just pops off so there's a couple of little pieces of paper already here where you could see um, from my last um, roll of tape so this tape I got from, I want to say Amazon probably. Um, if you order your tape from Amazon or any other um, distributor, I know there's other places you can get online, just make sure that it is acid free and that it is um, uh, photo safe because if it's not, it's going to ruin your project eventually. So you're just going to follow the little pictures that are on here and it basically shows that you're going to place your tape with once you pull this so that this part is not facing up but facing down this way okay and you're not going to put it here you're going to put it on this part so you're going to pop it in there and now you see it's still it's facing with the tape of uh, the roll going out the bottom and then you're going to uh, have it go over the first roll and then under and actually before I do that here in the middle there's another arrow that shows you that it goes over and then under so um, if you don't see that or happen not to see it um, or don't bother to look there you're gonna actually see that here and then there is another arrow here at the at the top here that shows you that once it goes over and under, the tape will then come around back this way. So now, and this part is important. You have to press here because otherwise, see, nothing happens. The wheels will not move. You need to press here to release it. So if once you do that, you see it starts to move, but you should do that slowly. And then just keep pulling until you think you have enough so that you can then come around over and you know don't be rough be gentle so you see I am I have gone over and under and back around but I don't have enough to come around because you want to be able to pull it around uh, this little round part here right so I don't have enough see I don't have enough so I'm gonna keep on pressing and pulling gently and now I think I might have enough so over on this side you see this round edge here has a couple of um, little edges that are kind of open right now I don't know exactly what's the proper way of threading this through um, but I like to go um, over on this side I don't know how easy it is to see here on camera but there is um, a wider opening here then um, an, a little opening here and then another here I, I really don't know how to how to really explain it but I like to go over on this side I like to go in, then out, and then back over. I, I hope you can see that clearly because I don't have one of those cameras that has that little flip thing that you can see what you're doing. I, I don't have one of those. Um, so then I I just um, hold my, my tape over and then I just hold it here like that. Okay, so I, that's the way I do it. I'll show you a different way and then I'll go back to the way that I do it. So you can do it that way. Or you can just go over this way, forget about that first little entrance there, and then go out this way. Now, uh, and then go like that. Now you see, if 
you do that, it it doesn't really, it's really only in and then just out. The way that I do it, it goes in and then out. I feel like it, it holds on a little bit better this way. I don't know if that makes any sense. It does in my brain, I guess. <laughs> okay, see? I feel like it's a little, holds on a little bit better that way. So once you have that, now if you look at it again, remember we went, um, we put the whole roll here, made sure that when we pulled the, the little tab on the tape, it we did it so that it was pulling out from under. You know, when, you know the toilet paper, some people like going over and then under or under. Most people like going over, but this time we were doing it under. So we went, pulled from under, went over the first roll, and then under, back over, and then around. Put it through the little grooves and held it in. And most of the time it'll hold. If it's a brand new tape dispenser, it may not. Mine, you know, did automatically because I've used it so much it's a little tacky. So it held on just fine. I have a little residue in some spots and okay so now we're gonna take this piece here darn it there's always something stuck somewhere you know tape just attracts everything so we're gonna take this again and this is what we had um, before that was holding this piece in place and we're just gonna pop it back in now there isn't anything here that indicates how to put it back in or anything you just have to like figure out where it fits you know and try to just pop it in now it does tell you which side uh, it'll be open so if it shows that it's open that way you want to try to turn it the opposite way so that it shows that it's locked so that way is open this way is locked I want to make sure that it's not going to pop back off okay so now pop it closed and we'll just grab a piece of cardstock just to make sure that it's you know what that's the same color as the the mat here and doesn't make sense to show you if it works on the same color so now you're just gonna go aha so there we go it works just fine and that's how you reload your ATG gun easy peasy lemon squeezy I hope that that helped I know a lot of times um, uh, in the beginning when I first got my ATG gun I couldn't remember how to um, load my uh, ATG tape and then I would mess it all up and I would ruin the tape and then I would r rip it out and throw it away and then that was wasted money and I would get so frustrated and then I would uh, look at YouTube videos and even some videos would confuse me so I hope that this helped you and until next time happy crafting bye bye